Hey you guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I am going to be using Blizzard White Crystal Clear to obviously cap everything, apply my glitters. And I'm going to be using Sunshine as the focus for the video. I really wanted to use a yellow and do a really nice, pretty, like summery, I don't know, fun, bold design. Uh, I'm using the pink lemonade micro shards, which are these, and they are actually gorgeous. So I'm going to set those to the side, get them ready to use. I'm going to be using the yellow rings, which are these ones. Absolutely stunning. They come in little 5mm pots, and we have them in a lot of colours as well, which I just think complement, you know, different themes or colors that you're going for and then this is sunshine so this is a metallic acrylic of course it's yellow and i'm using the blizzard white with that so let me zoom in i hope you guys are having a fabulous weekend let me know what you're up to i'm just gonna be pottering around the house i was hoping for some nice weather so i could get in the garden but i've checked the weather forecast and it is not it is not looking good like damn okay so i'm gonna go ahead and i think what i'm gonna do is start off with sunshine at the cuticle area i'm just gonna do some random designs i'm gonna include three nail tips and do three completely different nails but that can work together or separately so i've applied sunshine and then I'm just going to blend it down. Look how gorgeous that is. Thank you very much. I'm just going to blend that down the nail. Super pigmented. Absolutely glorious to work with. Now that I've got that applied, I'm going to come in and I'm going to use my crystal clear acrylic to pick up my pink lemonade micro shards, which, oh, damn thank you absolutely stunning i'm gonna apply to the free edge nice and gentle work that product i'm gonna wipe off the excess i'm flipping my brush around and then i'm gonna blend back up the nail just with those shards just to you know fade it out so that it's not such a harsh line and this i just want it to be a happy set just happy I'm not a set because I'm not really doing a set, um, but you know, just fun, full of smiles and joy. I'm just using some of those yellow iridescent rings and applying those at random to the nail. I want a big one, so let's try and get one on. I haven't tipped them out, so I'm just kind of trying to pick them up from the, um, the jar. I think that looks cute. I'm going to do one more. One more just at, mm, there. That looks well cute. Look at that. Stunning. So for the next nail, I'm going to come in and we're going to do a marble. I'm going to use Blizzard White and Sunshine. I'm going to go back and cap the nails and show you them all together as well. So don't worry about that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pick up a bead of Sunshine. Apply that. And I'm just going to dip straight into my Blizzard White. I'm not going to wipe my brush off between just because it doesn't really matter. We're marbling them together anyway. I'm just going to gently swirl. I don't want to mush it too much that I've not got like that definition between the two, the two colours, I mean. Just get that nice and neat and how you want it around the cuticle area. It's the most important thing when you're doing a marble to really focus on the area and get it how you want it. Smooth down the excess because we're going to come in and layer up product over this area so we don't want that to build up and be super bulky. some sunshine got a little sunshine 
Yeah, yeah, moonlight. Do little, do do. Have a little way. I don't even know if that's the right words, but hey, sounded right. So we're just alternating those colours using the tip of the brush. We're going to come in and swirl them. Oh, it looks like a little bit of like, oh, what would you call it? I can't even think of the pie. It's like a pie that's got meringue or something, che not cheesy, lemony, but it used to make me sick. Sick it did. Absolutely. Lemon meringue pie. That is what I'm on about. Lemon meringue pie at school. Oh, literally, I used to hate that dessert. I used to have to, like, if there was the only dessert left, you had to choose one. Don't know why. A bit cruel, really. And if I ever got that, I used to sit at the table and I would be gagging. Like, I'd put the spoon to my mouth and I'd be just like, Egh! literally, <laughs> for ages. Um, I literally still remember that in primary school and that is actually traumatising. But anyway. So that's the second one. Lacking stunning. And let's do nail number three. This one's going to be a colour blocking. I'm going to do a stunning design. Um, and it's going to look banging. So let's get to it. What we're going to do is lay down our glitter first which is the pink lemonade micro shards because i want to use them throughout the set so that everything you know fits together nicely looks beautiful and all of that great stuff but i don't need to apply this to all of the nail because i'm just focusing on part of the nail so i'm going to lay down lay down the glitter where i need it so just here i love how they look on their own honestly they're just beautiful I might as well smooth those down the whole way I mean so that I don't create any bulk or anything how stunning is that that's the pink lemonade micro shards so next what I'm gonna do when I don't know if I've brought in my little 3d brush oh I think that I do have it yes I do Okay, so I'm using the number five um, 3D brush. So it's the acrylic 3D brush and it just looks like this. And what I'm gonna do is sculpt out the shape of a heart on here. So it's just gonna be here in crystal clear. And that's gonna create like a window that we can look through to the glitter. So I'm picking up my clear. I should probably wait till the product underneath has set a little bit more, but me being super impatient, I'm obviously not. I'm just cracking on and I will reap the consequences if it happens, which it probably will because it always does. It always goes wrong when you don't wait or it just gets a little bit tougher. <laughs> okay, so I've allowed that to level slightly. I'm just going to push it up. I'm just maneuvering, maneuvering the product around to create a heart shape. I'm just going to get the top bits first. So like, you know, the bits that curve. And then I will add the bottom portion in a second. I want to focus on trying to keep these areas raised up so that when I come to file it, there's going to be a nice crisp heart shape there. Whereas if they are kind of curved down, it just won't be as super, super crisp. But that is what we want. So I'm going to add another bit for the bottom portion. I'm excited to see this. It's going to look really, really cool. I might even fill it in with white and yellow. So there's my other bead, just as a idea of the size of bead, quite small. 
and I've drained the liquid out as well because that's going to make it easier to move around. It's not going to be super, super runny. So I'm first blending in to my other beads that I've already laid out and then we can come in and start shaping the end of the heart. This is just a super quick version as well, guys. I'm going to definitely delve into it more, some colour blocking. I feel like I haven't done it for ages. Um, I don't know why, really. But, yeah, I do enjoy it. It's one of my favourite kind of methods of working with acrylic, the colour blocking. So I'm just really making that precise and sharp. Sharp, sharp, sharp. And this brush is perfect. Can you see how, like, yeah, you can see. I don't need to really say it either, guys. I usually don't. I'm just going to add a tiny bit more clear just to both of the, like, circular bits of the heart. Just here, because I feel like I didn't manage to keep the height as much as I would have wanted to. And because it's clear, as long as you build up in nice, wet-ish layers, <clears throat> excuse me, then you'll be fine. It's not going to cause any issues. So yeah, just a case of working through this design. This is probably the most intricate one that I'm doing in this video, but hopefully you guys are enjoying it and maybe you'll recreate it as well. If you didn't already as well, guys, I'd love it if you could go ahead and subscribe. Um, if you didn't already if you have been subscribed thank you so much or if you already have subscribed thank you so much again and hopefully hopefully you can go ahead and share this video for me share my channel get it out there okay i think i just need one last bit i can kind of see in the light there hopefully you guys can see all this i understand that it's in clear but that's about as high as i'm doing it if you can see that's my love heart na, 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 love heart. i'm going to come in with a nail file and i'm not too fussed about this outer glitter because it is literally just going to be underneath the colour but what I'm going to do is come in with my file and just crisp up just these ones just this kind of area just so that it's super crisp and exactly how I want it looking good I'm just going to come in with a wet brush I mean that looks cute I could have just done the glitter in that area which is what I would have normally done um, for some reason I just didn't I just didn't okay now you could do yellow that would look cute but you know what I'm actually going to do white for this because i think that that's just going to pop more and it's going to be more relatable of what people want to wear on their nails not everybody loves wearing yellow on their nails unless you're having like a sunflower set which would look cute as heck so i'm applying this quite wet as you can see but can you see how i'm not really applying it thick over that 
part area but I'm wanting it to be wet enough so that it can get into the kind of crevices of the heart like down here I don't want it to kind of skip that bit because when I come to file it there's just going to be like an air bubble or an air pocket in there and that's just super annoying super annoying Oh, I've picked up clear. I picked up the clear. Let's pop that bead on the paper towel and change over to white. When you are dezooing, <laughs> now that is a new word, isn't it? That is a new word. Uh, when you are doing designs like this, colour block nails um, and working with acrylic, you really, really do have to trust the process and your customer is going to look so worried if you are doing it on a client. I remember when I used to do French like this, the reverse French method, and they'd be like, oh my gosh, she does not know what she's doing. Um how is this going to turn out they were just so worried like and like honestly trust the process and in the end they were like amazed and they loved their nails so yeah it's, that is the same case when doing you know other designs um oh, that is a still a nag yeah when doing other designs um you've got to just take your time and let your clients know that it's a work of art and it's a process right now yeah it looks lumpy and bumpy you're not quite sure what you're going to get out of it but you just wait you just wait until we finish it up okay so i'm going to let that set and then we're going to come in and file like i said it does look bumpy and lumpy but you need to make sure that you've got enough product on there so that when you come to file it's going to be you know the correct structure and everything like that as well so i'll be back in a sec okay so it's time to file so this is how it looks before we filed obviously you guys already know that I, mean, damn. I don't have my e-file here because i'm in the office so i'm just going to quickly waz over with the hand file and reveal this design. I'm using the 180 grit. I've been using this for ages, but it's just in the class, in the classroom on practice tips. So don't worry guys, it's not a manky file. It's just been well loved and well used on my practice tips. So I'm just filing, filing, filing. Oh, this is gonna look good. So finished filing all three designs and they look cute so we're going to come in and top coat so these are um just the finished looks briefly filed them as you can see and we're going to come in with super gloss and it's just going to reveal how everything looks Oof, that just looks so happy it literally looks like a ray of sunshine on the nails which i think you know when you just need that little pick me up you want to you just want to look down at your hands and see some beautiful bright happy nails imagine pairing it with some like 3d flowers like white daisies like you know what i'm saying guys stunning and can we appreciate how clear 
the nail mate crystal clear acrylic is like it is stunning so i'm just going to pop that one in we'll do the marble next the lemon meringue pie i didn't cap this one because i'm a bit lazy a little lazy since it's just for demo purposes but if you were gonna um you know file the nail you need to cap it in clear first so that is that one super cute i'm gonna pop that one in the lights and then we can do this one so this one turned out super cute as well probably could have lit, been a little bit more you know precise down here but i mean it's it's still cute it's still cute and if you really wanted you could definitely like go around it in you know some glitter or some crystals just to really pizzazz it up i mean i think it looks cute anyway it just looks so good oh my god so good Hey guys, this is the final look. Please don't mind that they aren't filed like 100% perfect. It was literally for demonstration purposes, so forgive me on that, but hopefully, hopefully you guys can appreciate the designs and the process of everything. I mean, they look so cute. Super cute. I love it. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Thank you so much for tuning in, checking out another video, and I can't wait to see you in my next one. Don't forget to subscribe if you didn't already. Hit that thumbs up button. Thumbs up? <laughs> that thumbs up button. Um, leave me a comment down below whether you enjoyed watching, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, please remember that you are bomb.com. Lit as fuck, and don't ever... Let anybody tell you any different because you've got this and I love you. Mwah. Bye.